It's February 2021, and a westbound SCT intermodal train is assisted to Mount Lofty Station with the help of three vintage EMD locos. The train stalled between Petwood and Nan, about 30 kilometres east of Mount Lofty. The third unit, the Chinese-built CSR-003, failed, and the train had insufficient horsepower to climb the 2.5% grade to the summit. In the last decade, rail traffic in Australia has made a long-awaited but welcoming resurgence, and motive power is at an all-time shortage. And with no spare locomotives in Adelaide, this train sat for 13 hours in a siding, waiting for power to come from Melbourne to assist it up the hill. As I waited patiently at Mount Lofty for any train, the appearance of several rail fans made it clear that something was up, and I was told that the three locomotives coming to assist were actually all heritage units, recently rebuilt and very rarely seen in the Adelaide Hills, so something special was coming up to Lofty. The helper engines round the curve, and first up is C-Class 501 George Brown. These units featured a 16645E prime mover and were dubbed the Aussie SD40s. Originally built in 1977, the units were featured with broad gauge and standard gauge trucks. Following the Melbourne to Adelaide line being converted to standard gauge in 1995, the C-Class were mothballed and with C501 eventually being sold to the Seymour Railway Heritage Centre where it was rebuilt and painted back in the Victorian Railway's freight colours. The last two locomotives have a history all of their own. CLF2 and CLF4 
were originally built as CL-class locomotives between 1970 and 1972. They were originally built to haul trains on the Trans-Australian Railway between Adelaide and Perth across the vast Nullarbor Plains. They were originally fitted with an EMD 16645 E3 prime mover rated at 3000 horsepower and were the last locomotives in the world to be built with the General Motors Bulldog or Streamliner cab. In 1992, the class went through a refurbishment program, with the prime mover being upgraded to a 16645E3C. This new engine featured advanced computer control and an extra 300 horsepower, along with a larger alternator and rebuilt traction motors. The heritage power slips away as quietly as it arrived. To see these units getting angry pushing this train, visit AM22's channel and Matt at MS Trains to see some great footage of them powering up the hill. <laughs> 